Welcome to the Floral POS. In this new video, we're going to show you how to do our uh, our new standing order release. Uh, we've actually added some new features to standing order that a lot of our florists have been wanting. So uh, I want to go ahead and show this off to you guys and show you how to use the tool so that it'll be useful for your flower shop. So uh, let's get down to it. Um, so to create a standing order, what is a standing order? If most people know it's basically an order that's going to recur over and over again at a certain date in the future. So uh, what we've done is uh, we've made it so you can actually create a template or an order and then that will generate, uh, you can set a schedule and then that will generate the order in the future at some point. So let's go ahead and uh, look at that. If you go into control panel, um, inside there, the fourth column over, third button down, we have standing orders. So let's go ahead and click on that. Right now, as you can see, uh, there is no standing orders in here at all. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add one and we're going to run it. Um, but the uh, first thing you need to do to make sure that uh, your standing order um, is going to actually generate and get put into the, the actual um, system is on station one, the server, your main computer, uh, you need to make sure that this standing order status is, in, is installed. Right now it says not installed. Only do this on your server. Um, if you do it on all your computers, it's, it'll, it'll probably create problems or issues between the two. So just put it on your server that'll be good enough that it'll automatically generate the order and all the other stations will see that. So let's go ahead and hit install. That's exactly what you want to see the running area here. So uh, once you do that it's, it's gonna work fine and we want to go ahead and click on new standing order. So click on new standing order here, little plus. Do I want to create this? Yes I do. Uh, one thing you're gonna see if, uh, if anybody else uses our other use our other uh, standing order system is that we kinda tried to make this system look very similar to our delivery screen so you're you know you guys are kind of going between the two and everything looks similar so we made it so that these areas here actually are uh, matching so that you go away when you click on them and you can start typing in them so it saves on space so we also added in here um, the capability to do um, um, sub accounts so if you guys have a sub account order uh, this will actually do it and copy it for you very, you know, very well so one thing we also did is we noticed that um, when you're in standing order, if you opened it up and you're like, oh, I really don't have time to make one, and you X out, it'll actually now prompt you and say there are no items in the shopping cart. You want to delete this order, you hit yes, and it's, it deletes that order for you. So before in the past, what would happen is people would actually open the standing order and they'd X out of it, and then this didn't prompt, and you'd be here with like a kind of a blank standing order, which doesn't do anything. So that's something new. So let's go ahead and create a standing order. And we'll just throw like a fruit basket in there. We're going to select me as the actual person. And let's see here. I'll send it to Katrina. And happy birthday. And so another thing that we that we put in here is you're now able to um, save your um, occasions and your sources too, which is really nice. So when you're done actually setting up everything the way it needs to be, uh, last thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the save template. This is going to save all your information so it gets generated. Now once it's saved and I close out of here, you notice there's no, it doesn't say last runtime, next runtime. It doesn't really have any schedule in here at all. So we want to keep in mind that you know when you're inside the actual standing order, you can actually once you save it, you can hit set run schedule here, or when it's in here, you can actually do the same thing. You can say you know click on set run schedule here, and uh, now we have our schedule available to us. A couple different things you can do. You can actually do it run once, run daily, so that's going to run every single day, even the weekend. Um, run weekly, and then you can select which day of the week it's going to run, and then lastly that something that we didn't have before it wasn't running is uh, monthly so you're gonna be able to select any of the date any of the months or all the months if you want to and select any of the days inside that month. one new thing too that I'm sure people watch this are like oh this is what I wanted is now you have the capability to alert me um, so many days before the order is due so for example if I wanted to print this on the 20th or let's say my start date was the 20th for this run once. That means basically that's the delivery date is the 20th. But I want to actually 
I'll alert me two days before. What's going to happen is when this runs, it's going to print this out on the 18th for you, which is really nice. Um, if you go into daily, we don't have the capability to do that alert before in the daily area, but we did make it available in the weekly and the monthly. Same situation. If you're going to have it run on a Tuesday and you have it alert you two days before, it's going to run on that Sunday. So just keep that in mind. So there you go. There is the different areas. Monthly being brand new and the alert me days being there. So I'm going to have this run weekly. Um, and right now, today is Friday. So I'm actually going to say I want it to run on Saturday. That's when my delivery date is going to be on that Saturday. Um, but I want it to alert me one day before it's due. So that means that would actually alert me on that Friday, right? Today. Um, so, and my runtime, we'll run it for, uh, make sure. Again, you got to keep in mind, too, that it won't start running this until your start time, meaning that's when you want it to start running, is, is, is past. So if I put 820 here right now and I hit save, um, it actually wouldn't even run this for us because what's going to happen is the 20th is, is way out there. It's four days away. It's past Saturday. So it won't run until the next Saturday. So you got to make sure that this run start time is, is you know, past either the day of or even like you could do like 8, you know, eight 1. So we know it's already going to be starting for us. So, and again, the end date enabled, that's going to allow you to end the thing. So let's say that you want it to end on that Saturday as well. You could just select Saturday, and that's going to end it that Saturday as well when it runs through. Or let's say you want it to run three Saturdays in a row, you can just select the, the 31st, and what it'll do is it'll that, that last Saturday it'll automatically end that for you. So no big deal there. So let's go ahead and hit save. Um, before I do that, if you look down below, we have different alerts that are going to alert you. Um, in the future, we're going to allow you to alert yourself via email, text message, and via the printer. Right now, we only have available alert via the message center and the system tray. So let's go ahead and check mark both those and click on save. So behind the scenes, this is going to be running. And I'm actually going to pause the video and once it runs for us, um, if everything goes well, it should end up in our message center. And then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so the actual standing order did run. And if you notice down below, um, it actually has a little message in here showing that standing order is due. It flashes in red. Um, this is going to be on all of your stations. So whatever stations you have, one through whatever, they're all going to get this message. Um, all you have to do is click on the action button. That's going to open up the standing order for us to look at it. Now if you notice on the right hand side here, it shows that the order delivery date is for the 17th, which is that Saturday that we were talking about. The order, the actual order date, which was generated by the standing order, is the 16th. But the delivery date is held here at the 17th, which is really nice. Uh, one thing you're going to notice also is that we, in our standing order system, we don't allow you to um, automatically apply payment in standing orders. We just don't um, want the payment to be automatic. We just, for, uh, me being a programmer, I'm actually afraid of that. I don't want um, people's cards getting charged and if something goes wrong with the standing order system, it continues to charge credit cards, whatever. We don't want that to happen. So what we're doing is we give you the you know, opportunity to do standing orders and then you just unlock them, go into the little money button, and then you know select the method of payment. If this customer has a credit card on file, then you can use that credit card on file and charge it that way. So, so pretty cool. That's standing order pretty much in a nutshell. Um, again, kind of recap what we added to standing order, because um, it was working um, in, in the past, but uh, uh, we actually added inside the schedule area, we added the capability to do monthly now, and we also added the capability to allow you to alert yourself a couple days before the order is due. That way, you, you know, you can kind of prepare for the order coming through. Um, other than that, in the future, we're going to be um, adding the email and the text messaging and the printing. And also, um, we're going to be adding a, a new form in there so that if you have anybody that actually wants to um, do a standing order that's a pickup, so they're going to actually be coming into your shop, you know, once a week or monthly, um, that'll be, you know, you can generate that and you can create the, the arrangement or whatever, and that'll be waiting for them when they come in. So um, that's basically it right now. And hopefully you like the video and you like the new... Uh, 
standing order manager. We put a lot into it and uh, more to come. All right, guys. Have a good night. We'll see you. Bye.